Hey guys, Zach Uwak here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use player attributes like speed and jump power in Roblox Studio to create a power-up coin that can give special abilities to your player. This can be used in many games like Survival, Battle Royale, Obbies, and others. First, load the world you want to make this coin in. I'll just make a new one. Now, let's create the model for our coin. By the way, obviously the shape does not matter and it doesn't have to be a coin. You can make a loot chest, a consumable food, or something else. But in this video, I'll just do a coin. So I'm going to get a cylinder, change the proportions, don't forget to anchor the part, This should be fine. And then change the color and texture. That should do. And let's also name it. Next, let's add a script inside the coin. And we'll call it collect. Let's delete the default code and let's add local coin equals script dot parent. And let's make a function called on collect. In the parentheses, let's put other part, which is the part that touches the coin, for example, a leg or a hand. Now, for the next part, we'll use the humanoid because that is what changes the health, walk speed, jump power, and other things. So inside the function, we're going to write local hum equals other part dot parent. Since other part is the part of the humanoid that touches the coin, and the parent is the actual character. Next, we're going to write colon find first child. And in the parentheses, we're going to put humanoid. Next, we'll put if hum then, which creates an if then function. And in the function, we'll put hum dot use jump power set to true, which allows us to basically change the jump power of our character. Now we're going to put hum dot jump power equals 150 or whatever value you want it to be. By the way, the default jump power is 50. Now the cool thing is you can either keep the coin with just the jump power or add another power to it like walk speed. Or you can make many different coins for your game, each with a different power. For this video, I'll teach you how to change the speed of your player too. All you need to do for this is write hume.walkspeed equals whatever you want it to be. I'll put 50. And now for the script, we'll put coin colon destroy, which basically just destroys the coin. So you can't infinitely get extra power. And finally, let's call the event using coin.touched colon connect and using on collect to connect it to the function. Let's test it out. As you can see, now I can jump really high and I run really fast. And the coin deleted. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!